For our MathFinder project, we decided to focus on three very broad mathematical themes and provide you with some starter questions for each of these themes. The theme we're focusing on in this video is geometric shapes and transformations. This includes all types of 2D and 3D shapes, ways of figuring out how much space they take up or can hold, and ways of moving these shapes in space and transforming them. What's a starter question? Well, it's our way of giving you a convenient starting point on your journey to come up with your own math-related question, one that falls under a general math theme that's connected to the place you're in right now. This theme looks at how noticing properties of shapes in our surroundings can help us to understand the world. Measuring area, volume, and surface area of shapes can help us understand the functions of different designed and natural objects. Transforming shapes through movements like rotations and reflections can create important mathematical patterns. Now, if you decide you want to come up with a math walk stop around this theme, we suggest you first spend at least 5 to 10 minutes noticing your space or object. Use your senses to really take note of as much as you can. Then use one or more of these starter questions to help you develop your own math walk question at this location. So pick one of these starter questions, continue to notice, and now begin to brainstorm questions around the question you're thinking about. When we looked at a lunar module that was built to go to the moon at the Frontiers of Flight Museum in Dallas, the first starter question about shape jumped out at us. We brainstormed a bunch of other questions around the first starter question. We also played with the second starter question about volume. We were interested in thinking about the interior space as we imagined how it felt for the crew inside. How much actual space did they have in terms of volume? So the third part of creating your math walk stop is to select one of the questions you brainstormed as your focus for your stop. And then you get to answer your question based upon your observations, your measurements, your estimation, whatever it is you need to do to answer the question. Your answer can be precise. It can be an estimate or it can be a strategy. 